This is a short video tutorial on how to back up Blu-ray discs uh, using a couple of pieces of software. I'm going to be using Make MKV and Handbrake and I'm running on Linux. So this is how to back up Blu-ray on Linux. First thing you need of course is to buy a Blu-ray disc. Um, the one that I happen to have is Kill Bill Volume 1. So that's the one we're going to be using. So make sure you buy it because otherwise that's illegal but once you've purchased it, go ahead and stick your Blu-ray disc in your computer. Obviously you have to have a Blu-ray drive and I would strongly encourage you to purchase Make MKV. Um, you can use it for free for a trial period for about 30 days, but uh, this is an excellent piece of software that will do most of the backing up for you. So once you've got your disc, go ahead and stick it in and then you're going to open up Make MKV, which I've got up right here. I just stuck my disk in so you can see it's beginning to read it. Um, it's going to run through, takes just a second to load the disk and figure out what's on it. And then we're going to tell Make MKV that that's the disk that we want to use. So it's running. All right, just pulled up. So we've got Kill Bill Volume 1. I'm going to go down here and hit Open Disk. And you'll see I have a DVD player too, but this is the Blu-ray Blu player. I'm going to click on that and it'll run through and find everything on the disk and it takes just a couple of seconds depending on how fast your drive is, how fast your computer is. Um, so we'll just let it run and you can see it's going through all of the different files on the disk and figuring out what they are. There we go, we got it. Alright, so the next step. Uh, once you've got it in Generally speaking, the file that you want is the biggest one. It happens to be 29.3 gigabytes, which that probably is the main video. So we're just going to unclick these because I don't want any of this other stuff. We're going to leave that one. So that's going to be the main video and we're going to back that up. Obviously you have to have lots of hard drive space to do this. I have a terabyte drive in right now. I have additional drives as well, but that's the one I'm going to back up to. Once you've clicked everything, so you're ready to go here, uh, make sure that you've got whatever folder you want it to go into. I just set one up as a Make MKV folder. Keep in mind you need a lot of space. This is going to be 29.3 gigabytes. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and click this button right here, save the selected titles, and it'll start running. And this is what it looks like, and it'll take, uh, depending on how fast your computer is, like 20 minutes. So obviously I'm going to come back in a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, our uh, rip of the video in Make MKV is complete. This is the prompt that you get when it's done. So go ahead and click OK, and we're done with Make MKV. So what we need to do next is pull up another piece of software, and this one's actually free. It's called Handbrake. I have it up already right here. So here's Handbrake. And uh, this is the one that we're going to use to rip it into the file format. Now, the tricky part about this, obviously, Blu-ray files are huge, right? It was close to 30 gigabytes, that one. We want to shrink that file down without losing the high definition resolution. So the, for, the, the preset kind of settings that I typically use is Apple TV 2. You can use Apple TV 3, but the files are still going to be pretty big, um, probably in the range of 4 to 6 gigabytes. With the Apple TV 2, it drops it down so it's not 1080p, it's 720p resolution. Um, I need to go find the file, but we're going to click on the source button. Go find the file that we just uh, created. It's right here. Sometimes it's got a title, sometimes it doesn't. And Handbrake will scan it, make sure it knows what it's doing, and it's going to give you a bunch of parameters down here. But uh, I've found that I, I prefer the 720p, um, that's just a, a better size for me, um, just because it cuts it down to about 2 gigabytes, 2 to 4 gigabytes per file. So you can fiddle with these settings if you want, but at this point uh, I'm pretty much ready to go. So there's the original source format, right, which is 1080p, and we're going to go down to 720. So it's actually going to be a little bit less. Uh, but that's the one that we want, and then when you're ready, go ahead and hit start. And this can take a couple of hours, actually, so it can be rather time-consuming. 
But once you're done, you've got your final video. Oh, you can also change the title right here in case you wanted to do that. So I'm going to do that. Kill Bill. Um, there we go. Hit start and it'll start processing. Like I said, it takes a couple of hours. And that's it. That's how you would back up a Blu-ray disc.